by the worm eye that bleeds in all the dark places, by the wound that never heals, I call you forth from the darkest depths of the warp. Arise, minions! <laughs> Ah, hello everyone, welcome to Regrowth. So, well, I guess it's time to screw some shit up. Oh man, that took almost all our blood. Our network is empty. I even put on some more runes of the orb just as a safety buffer. Ah, oh, look at it go. The jars are draining. The essential salts are being used. What? What? Hello? Th the essential salts are being used. Um. Um. The router and the stone are full of Orbis Terai. And it looks like it didn't suck any out. So, I don't know, maybe it didn't want to use Orbis Terai next? Let's see if I can drain it out of... out of all these. Let's, let's turn on the... the, uh... Yeah. Okay, so, destination list cleared. Destination list cleared. Set the router to Terai. So... Oh, uh, clear. Find, bind. Could no longer find linked container. It went through the Ignis already, and they're both pointing to the correct... I, I don't know, maybe it just didn't want Orbis Terai next. Frig, that ends the ritual. Damn it. Well... All that preparation, and now we have to wait for 15 million more blood! Mm. The ritual just... I, I, uh, oh, God. I'm not going to do a speech next time, because that was disappointing. Well, the whole thing's cleared. I'll refill the jars. I'll wait for more blood. And I'll do something else for today. Well, today, how about let's do some fun quests. Let's let's make some progress in one of the chapters. Oh, um, I did, in fact, make those seeds. I even bred Shimmerleaf up to full. And uh, Taint Root, too. I didn't breed Cinderpearl, because I'm, I'm just not going to bother with Cinderpearl. Uh, still missing a quest. I think there might be a hidden quest to make Coven. Yeah, spawn Coven Witch. Which is going to require a Cobalite Ingot, and the Jimmy project is not going well. I tried using one of the Cobalt Eggs to make another little guy over here. I took forever to figure out how to trade with him, and he did not have any Cobalt Eggs trades. All he had was tool trades. So you know what? You, sir, you cost me almost all my Cobalt Eggs dust. Goodbye. Yeah. And remember, for, some, for whatever reason... They only mine cobalt light dust when I am standing right here. They they only like seem to work when I am nearby. So yeah. If I want to grind up more cobalt light dust, I essentially have to stay in that area. And they they appear to have somehow lost one of their iron ores. That's better. How did they mine up that little bit of dirt? What? What are you guys doing? 
Are you trying to attack me? Huh. We had a minor rebellion on our hand. Well, good thing I don't care. So, today, um, let us... Well, I, I guess, first of all, let's wrap up the blood crap, the uh, blood magic quests, because those are actually really easy. I'm going farther in blood magic than I have to by doing the Convocation of the Damned. So, the first thing it wants is a Ritual Diviner. That's really easy. You just take a Blood Altar, and you put it in a Blood Altar. The Ritual Diviner is kind of like a specialist hopper for the Blood Altar. It will put in a stack of items at a time, but only when it detects that there is enough blood in your network. It doesn't really work well with the with the Well of Suffering, though, I think, because it doesn't take that income into account. Anyway, Altar Diviner quest done. Next, it wants the Sigil of Holding. Sigil of Holding is just a multi-tool for all your sigils. Mm -hmm. Let's see, if I take a Sigil of the Whirlwind and a Divination Sigil, I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Can hold all those. And then I think if I shift or scroll onto it, no. Ah, there we go. It's acting a little bit weird. But yeah, when I shift scroll onto it, I can switch between those various things. I don't really like it too much because, yeah, I, I don't keep too many sigils on me anyway. I guess it's it, it's it's good if you use them a lot, but I haven't really. Okay, and that is how the world bleeds completes. Give us a sigil of the blood lamp. Very nice. Okay, teaches. I have no idea what this is going to require to unlock. It looks like a witchery book. So why don't we do some witchery quests? That is how the world grows. Yes, and there is lots to do here. So we have the hunted. I have to kill a witch hunter. I think these guys only spawn um, near vanilla style villages. So I might have to construct one. Um, wants me to make some critter snares? We can do some critter snares, I think. No? Oh, it must be one of those mutating rituals, I guess. Well, the quest book might tell me more. Ah, to mutate critter snares, place a spider's web above a block of water, surround it with alder saplings, and then ensnare a zombie in the web. Okay. Web. Cobweb. That's just going to require some mana-infused string, which is literally just mana and string. It's also going to require some, you know, regular old string. Cobweb. Alder sapling. Let's see, did it say surround? It might have said surround. Yeah, surround. So maybe it needs all eight sides. Okay. 
Okay, now all I should need is the mutating sprig and a zombie. I think I'm just going to use my zombie egg. Mutating sprig. Okay, and I should just be able to place this guy right here. Yeah, he's sinking into the cobweb. I'm just going to wait until his feet are touching the water, just to be sure. Ooh, that sounded lovely. <laughs> Okay, it only it looks like it only needed the four sides, but I'll just keep this thing set up just in case. Eh, let some alder grow. I need more saplings. Okay, so that's critter snares. Apparently these are used to... well... oh. Yeah, I think these are actually safari nets. It's just that you have to lure something into walking over it. Okay. Okay, so I do have safari nets in this pack. I was wrong. And poppets. So I'm going to need a taglock kit and a poppet. Okay. Baseline poppet is just some wool and some Spanish moss, string, and a bone needle. Okay. Might as well program the recipes. You know what? I'm also going to make flint on auto craft. Easiest way, I think, to do that is just to get gravel on auto craft. And then... Do a process of gravel to flint in the crusher. Now I should be able to order up flint. Come on. Crusher? No, it doesn't go into the crusher. It can be made from flint in an enrichment chamber, though. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Well, let's take that pattern out. And you can clear a pattern just by crafting it. And yeah, I do want a, I want a, I want flint on autocraft, so I'm gonna make an enriching machine. Just real quick. It'd probably be nice to have it for some other uses anyway. Okay. Gonna need those. Gonna need those. Gonna need those. Machine down. Slots. Input from the back. Output from the top. Auto eject on. Give it some covers. Double check our channels. Oh, this can be the last one. Emmy interface. Cable it up. Channel confirmed. 
Okay. And on the interface, we now should see Enrichment Chamber. Yes. Good, now that's working. Okay, let's do a quick test. Just 10 units. Why you do that? A wireless terminal? Well, I hear it going. Okay, so the routing is working appropriately on that side. But it's not. Oh, gunpowder. Gunpowder. Derp. Cancel the craft. Gunpowder. Gunpowder I have on Autocraft already. Okay, so. Now, once more, Enrichment Chamber. Cable. Flaunt. Okay. This is why you test every step of an operation, because sometimes your head is full of derp. Next, I'll just give it its suite of upgrades. Which are so much easier to craft now. Yeah. And now you hear all those wonderful mechanism machines in the back working for us. Because now it needs to make tons more alloy. Yeah, let's just check how many alloy that costed. Let's see, it cost about 30 enriched alloy and it's already refreshed the reinforced and atomics. Okay. Sorry for the derpy assign. Okay, so. Next, I just need to get it to auto-craft me puppets. Oh. Oh, okay. Just need one of those bone needles. And some wool. Okay, and I should check. Is this a crafting task? Yes, it is. Okay, so... First of all, it wants me to make a tag lock kit. Three of them, in fact. That's really easy. That's just a bone needle and a bit 
and 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 a bottle. Tag lock kits are used to target players and entities by taking a sample of their blood, and it's for like voodoo magic. And poppets are kind of voodoo dolls. They have both positive and negative effects. Wants me to make a water protection poppet, okay. The water protection poppet, when bound by a tag lock kit, will oh okay i see i need water artichoke globes it will take drowning damage in your stead so if somehow my multiple layers of water breathing failed and i started to take water damage let me disable my chat again if i had a bound water protection poppet the poppet would take durability damage instead of me taking health damage, so long as it is either in my inventory or sitting on a chunk-loaded poppet shelf. Fire protection poppet is just what it sounds like. I think the only poppet that I'm really going to want is a death protection poppet, because that, that does what it sounds like. It breaks instead of you, and it's actually necessary for some advanced rituals. Oh, and it wants me to make a poppet shelf. Okay. Yes, that's just going to cost a tombstone, nether brick, and a green wool. Green wool. And some... Oh, we're out of Dragonstone. Okay. Easy fix. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could hook up, like, a dropper and a hopper hawk to the Alfheim portal, but I'm not going to bother. I wish that there was a... A vertical version of the Alfheim portal, like an an, 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 yeah, an elf pit that you could use the open crates to drop things into. And also, you know, the downward direction would more, it would guarantee, yeah. I mean, I, I guess that I could make sure that items are pushed in it with daffodils. Hmm. There we go. Pop a shelf. I'm just going to go put this somewhere that's chunk loaded. Oh, well, let's turn in the quest first. That gave me a death protection poppet. How very nice. Oh, yes, and of course, I need to bind these tag lock kits. I think I can... No? Okay. Well, if you can't poke a person directly, you can also get a tag lock by going to their bed. And I still have my bed right here, so doop, doop, doop. You see? I have a tag lock kit of myself. And now I should be able to craft those with the poppet. And see? It is bound to me. I'll do all three. What the heck? Why not? <laughs> Playing with dolls. At least they're voodoo dolls. Now, I do believe that there should be a chunk loader in the basement of this. Yes, there it is. So I will just put the poppet shelf right next to that. And you see, it can hold quite a few poppets. And I think if I filled this up with death protection, then I would be able to die that many times. And it would like, I, I think it gives you something like four hearts each time your hearts run out. So I could have quite a lot of protection. Oh, for some reason that... Okay. Maybe that was waiting this whole time and I didn't notice it for some reason. Okay. Wants me to make a spinning wheel and it wants me to start working on infusing myself. Ah, that would be why that would unlock then. Because 
because you need a death protection poppet in order to protect you from the effects of infusion. So, infusion is a high-level circle magic ritual that gives you power. And the power that you get depends on what infusion you choose. Only one of these four quests can be completed. Okay, so if I choose if I choose an infusion, I don't have to do all of them. Okay. So I have to make one of these potions. Let's see. Uh, Spirit of Otherware, I know, gives you the power to teleport home and to do like Ender Enderman teleportation. That's not too terribly useful. Um I think I think I would go for the Nether Infusion, the Infernal Animus. Okay, so what's that going to cost? It's going to take a Voodoo Poppet, Blaze Rod, Refined Evil, Potion of Harming, Redstone Soup, and a Demon Heart. We need to summon a demon. Which I think is actually a quest in and of itself, just in the Circle Magic chapter. Mm, that's changes, isn't it? Yeah, it needs me to get a Demon Heart. Okay. So, where is my using Arthana? I should have one. Oh, it's sitting on the altar. Eh, well, let's make another Arthana. Because the best way to get a demon heart is to kill a demon with an Arthana. And in fact, give me a moment off screen. I'm going to enchant this thing up using infusion enchanting. It's a boring process because you have to do it multiple times. Um, I am just going to be enchanting it with the highest levels of sharpness and looting. Which is under artifice. And I'll give it repair, too. Why not? So repair, that's just an anvil and a salus mundus. Um, fire protection by aquafini. Sharpness is an iron sword and salus mundus. Should I give it smite? Nah. And looting is a sword, a diamond in salus mundus. And you see... Uh, to get a higher level, you in fact have to do the same in enchant multiple times. So it's going to be a bit of a boring process. Oh yes, I might as well mention it now. I have created Carzoni II into a Thaumian Golem, because he can now re empty out a ridiculous amount of Essentia at once, and that turns out to be more valuable than a tiny bit of speed. Yeah. And also, I found out that the Sanguine Helmet put into a bound set of armor... Uh, that only takes a slot on the helmet to be used as goggles of revealing. On every other piece, you can have a sanguine helmet sitting in there, well, except for the boots because there's no room. But on every other piece, you can have a sanguine helmet sitting in there, and that allows you to enchant your bound armor with runic shielding. And that turned out to be a ridiculously... Uh, it, it took so long that actually my altar began to have instability effects. And... The only way I was able to supply enough Essentia was to have my Super Melter here uh, constantly producing. So yeah, it was a bit ridiculous. Anyway. Notice that I just have hoppers on the pedestal here for this repeat enchanting with the swords and stuff. So that these, these pedestals stay full up and all I need to do is hit it with my wand and keep it supplied with Essentia. Mm. Okay. So, there's going to be some demon summoning this episode anyway. First of all, I'm going to need to redo my circles. So, go and just zoop these on up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, we're going to be doing two rituals at once here. The first ritual is... We will be doing a Rite of Protection, small size. This is going to require Obsidian, Redstone, optionally a Bound Waystone, which I think determines the location that this dome pops up, 
within a certain range. Just obsidian redstone and a small white circle. Okay. Small white circle. Obsidian redstone. Now, I think that what this will do is this will create a dome of force that the demon cannot see or shoot or do anything through and is unbreakable, but that I can walk through easily. So the demon will be trapped here in the inner circle. And um, circle rituals, they happen in the order that they appear in the book. So because demon summoning is the later chapter, this, will, this uh, right of protection will happen first. So next, I need a demon. And that actually just requires the largest red circle. But I'm going to do the two red circles because some, some summoning rituals use them. And I think this will be my general purpose summoning circle when I put it in storage. So I'm just going to draw the other two circles in this lovely red infernal chalk. I am so glad I marked out these circles. Like, I would hate having to do this by counting each and every time. And I'm so glad that circle talismans exist. Like, I, it's nice knowing that I didn't waste those two outer white circles by doing this. Oh, I'm out of Infernal Chalk. And I need to make more. Okay. Yep, that's just a chalk, blaze powder, and nether wart. In that order, I do believe. Into the Witch's Cauldron. Yep, that's sparking up. There we go, more chalk. I think there is actually a ritual to automatically draw out circles, but you would have to sacrifice multiple pieces of chalk to do it. So it's wasteful. Anyway, so that's the circles drawn. Aren't they lovely and flaming? So, summon a demon. Well, I could sacrifice a villager. Oh, that just require refined evil blaze powder and ender pearl and a tiny bit of power. But I think instead I'll go for the two attuned stone method. Yeah, I don't want to lure a villager in here. Good. Actually, do I have a villager egg? Okay, what's what's the other three ingredients? Refined Evil, Blaze Powder, and, and Ender Pearl. And then the Source of Power. Either a vil Oh, that requires a Blaze Rod for the other way. Well, we'll determine it by if I have a Villager Egg. No, I don't. So we'll do it the, the uh, quote-unquote hard way. And then I'm going to need some Refined Evil. Which I can make with a Diamond Vapor and a Gas Tear. Well, gas tears are easy. And I do have some diamond vapor. Okay, I'll just spend all of it. Make tons of refined evil, because I think I'm going to need it for other stuff. And I, guess, and I made I made tons of ender dew, because I found out it was a secondary source of whiffs of magic, and I didn't feel like tree farming. Okay. Ender Pearl. Blaze Rod. Charged and uncharged stones. And Refined Evil. Okay, I think that might be everything. Oh, the Heart Rune. I forgot the Heart Rune. That is just a single dupe of the golden chalk. Dupe. And now here we go. 
Up goes the dome. And yes, I can pass right through it. There's the demon. Okay. I can just run in there and get the stone real quick. He tries to notice me. Okay, so if I talk to him real quick, he should just push me right back out of the circle. He's not dangerous anyway. Let's see here. Yeah, he can't really hurt me. Oh, he won't push me out, though, because I have no knockback. Maybe I should take my girdle off. Yeah. Because he wants blaze rods for a demon heart. Uh, fire protection 2. Ender pearl. Eh. <laughs> it's kind of funny making him scream like that. Ooh, spectral dust. That's a good deal. So I'm going to need a stack of blaze rods, basically. And I think there's no rush here. That barrier is draining ultra power, but I'm... Yeah, I'm recharging Ultra Power faster than it's draining, keeping that barrier up. Because my altar is frickin' awesome. So, Demon Hearts! Holy crap! Oh. Oh. Never mind. Wait, what? Dude. Okay, maybe I need to make that inner circle out of obsidian, just so that... We can't have accidents like this. Okay, okay. Come over here. Okay, how did you just track me? Oh, and he destroyed most of the graspers, too. Gah. You are a real jerk. You know that? Okay, knock me back, please. Not that fast. There we go. Well, at least I got tons of spectral dust. This stuff is kind of hard to get otherwise. No, I got most of the graspers back, it looks like. Well, he won't sell me any more demon hearts, so I think he's outlived his usefulness. Yep. And hey, look at that, a third demon heart. So I just right-click the heart ruin, and that disables the... the, um... the barrier... And then I need some moss stone in order to... Uh, so hey, we summoned a demon today. He was kind of lame. Very rude. Let's see. I think these demon hearts I can actually place down and they're worth a good deal of ultra power. Let's see here. Yeah, 16, 620. Ugh. Listen to that. That's annoying. Okay, so the other use for them is making this demon tongue charm, which I think will prevent him from firing fireballs. And um, if I use it on him, it takes durability, but makes his deals better. And I can use it with diamond vapor to get me some demonic blood, which is what I need for that infusion. Distilleries are so slow. Solution, build more distilleries. Yes. More. The altar doesn't even notice. These take so little power. Okay. Purified demon blood. Well, extracted demon blood anyway. I don't think anything can make this pure. Has a couple uses. Can be used to make these bloody wicker butter. Bloody wicker bundles, which are used for summoning a boss, which I might do. But more importantly, that, uh, yeah. Oh, 
Killing the demon was another task. Okay. Gives us another demon heart. Well, we know what to do with that. Bit of diamond vapor. No, wait. Demon heart goes in that slot. There we go. Okay, that'll just extract the blood. It's used in a bunch of rituals, though. Like, it's going to be used for making a familiar. Okay. But, in the meantime, what I really wanted it for was for that infusion. Yes, the Infernal Animus. So that's going to require another Demon Heart, of course. Redstone Soup, Refined Evil, Blaze Rod, Voodoo Poppet, which is just... Um, Yeah, some ingredients. Nothing hard. Okay, well, I need to get another demon heart, so I need to summon another demon, unless that distillery hasn't. No, of course. I realized too late. Okay, time to summon another demon. Okay, purple floor tiles ought to keep him a bit more under control. Wait, what? But... But I had the binding. Oh dear. Well. He wants a bunch of gold. You know what? Screw it. Because it's screwed up. <laughs> Backwards jogging. I had the stuff down for... Uh... Oh well, I have the demon heart. Okay. Once again. So, redstone soup, demon heart. Refined evil, blaze rod, voodoo poppet. The only other thing is that potion of harming. So that's going to be regular potion of harming with glowstone, uh, spider eye, poison, awkward. Okay. That's doable. 